So we're here at the, the Gulf Coast uh, Big Rig Truck Show. We're standing with uh, the Kimballs. And uh, why don't you go ahead and introduce yourself? I'm Linnell Kimball with L. Kimball Trucking. I'm Eugene Kimball with E&E &E Trucking. Now you guys brought in uh, two trucks here that look really, really great. We're standing in, one, in front of one, so why don't you go ahead and tell me about this truck here we're standing in front of. This is an 85 model 359 Peterbilt. Uh, got a V8 Cat 348. Got a two transmission, a six and a four. Both overdrive, 355 rears. It been cut, stretched, uh, lowered, and we just a toy that we like to have fun with. You say that this is just a toy. You got to give me some backstory on this. Uh, I've been having it about, I guess since 11, 2011. We've been to a bunch of different shows. It made calendar one year, uh, and we give a show ourselves uh, in Louisiana at State Capital Raceway. Just a uh, raise money for cancer, and uh, that's how we started. We started going to shows, then we started putting on shows and racing, and, and that's what we enjoy doing. We enjoy driving and looking good going down the road. When people pass by you and do this, they make you feel good. I don't win a lot of trophies, but when they pass by me and do this going down the road, I just like I'm winning a trophy. They uh, tell me I'm looking good. I hear you. They probably also think you sound good, too, with this 3408 in there, oh, right? Yeah, it sound pretty good. It blow plenty of smoke. Yeah. Right on. We like that. Now tell me about the, the truck that you brought here today. Well, 359, eight, uh, 1987 model, been stretched. They got a four and a quarter cat in it uh, for 18 feet old. We're eating and 411 rear end. That's a toy for us. Yeah. I tell you what, I got to hang out with you guys some more. You guys got some nice toys. <laughs> Now, what do you guys do when you're not playing with your toys? Working on other ones. We got other trucks we work on. We uh, keep them up. We got horses, we got animals. We like to fool with animals and stuff, go to show. I got a 56 Ford pickup toy too that's all decked out just like these trucks decked out. So we like to hang out, cook. We all family, we got close knitted family. We all fool with trucks, there's a bunch of us with trucks. And if we ain't working on them, we looking at them. Sounds good. Now, now, as far as work, what do you guys do for, for work, you know, in terms of, you know, what you haul and where you go? We haul, you name it, we can haul it. We got a bunch of different trailers. We all got end dumps, tanks, we haul fertilizer, we haul grain, we got hopper bottom, we got step decks, we haul any kind of pallet material, stuff need to be moved on the pallet. We haul sugar cane, we haul cane in, in the grinding here and stuff. So anything you need to haul, we almost can haul it. That's cool. And what about yourself? Same thing. Uh, we done retired twice, 25 years with Exxon, for, uh, 12 years with Asphalt Company, and I just enjoy driving truck and working. He's 76 years old. Yeah. Wow, yeah. wow. He's the oldest living and I'm the baby. Wow, that's that's amazing, sir. You you did not <laughs> look that look that age. Thank you, sir. Now, you, you have to tell us about when you, I, I think, you, uh, 50 something years you've been trucking? 52. And he started driving log truck. He used to drive log truck well, for his brother in law. A cattle truck. Cattle truck? For my daddy. And from a cattle truck, when I got out of high school, my daddy wouldn't let me buy a truck. He was a construction worker, and I went to labor school working with him in 63 to June, December of 64. And we got laid off in 64. I went to trade school become a cement finisher. I've done cement work from straight from 69, 63, four to 69. Started driving truck in 69 and driving truck in the same. I, I just want to know how you remember all those dates like that. It's in my mind, system, in my head. Well, that's great. So back back at those those years in the 60s and things, you remember what trucks you were driving? You know, to tell us about some of those trucks. I started off driving a 51 Chevrolet cattle truck. From a 51 cattle truck, I started driving a 58 Ford log truck, a, a 8, 850, 700. And from there, I drove a 59 GMC log truck. Left the 59 log truck and started driving a 58. Gravel truck, all in lightweight. Left that driving gravel truck, 
and went to uh, Exxon and started driving truck, different truck, truck for Exxon. They had all different uh, models there and my, uh, uh, sizes, oil and gas, diesel, and jet fuel. I left there, bought my own truck, and started hauling vacuum work in oil field. Oh, that's amazing. So through all those different types of you know brands and models of trucks, did you have any any favorites because of it? It operated a certain way or it drove a certain way? What were your favorites back then? The favorite one is the one I got now, my Peterbilt, uh, 1994. Did your brother con you into bringing his truck and you couldn't bring yours, or how'd that work no, out? I didn't bring mine because my panels was cracked on mine. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, we'll have to see that. You know, do you think you bring it next year? Bring it, yeah. He was gonna bring it this, this year. year. We, he was supposed to come work on finger, but they didn't. The guy that was supposed to come do the body fiberglass work didn't show up. Oh, okay. So we that's, that's one reason we didn't okay. bring it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. The other two, yeah. When we give our show, we're gonna invite you to come to yeah. our show. Yeah. We had sixty or seventy some trucks the last show we had, but we've been out because of COVID the last two years. Yeah. But we were supposed to have a show May first this year. Okay. Past, so we're gonna try to get back on the schedule for yeah. the end of April or first of May next year. That'd be, that'd be great. And I just got to say, I mean, just, uh, just the history of uh, your, your trucking history and legacy, that's that's something. So tell me, is there others in the family that, that do any trucking or participate yeah. in work in the family? A nephew right there, the one, uh, nephew right there, and I got a brother right over there. They all got trucks. Okay. When it comes to having a family involved in trucking and whatnot, what what is the dynamics like? Well, you know, paint a picture. We need each other. We there for each other. You know, we work. If he got it, like I work with him this week a couple of days, and uh, I went work with the other brother. The other brother worked with me a couple of days. We all got different people that call us out, and if we need help, if they ain't busy, then we'll help each other. But we got a bunch of guys that we work with. You know, it ain't just we try to hold it all. We work with a bunch of different guys. We do a lot of stuff. If it come to the truck and we, if we, if we, one of us ain't got it, one of the other ones got it. That's great. And it's yeah. not just trucking, we uh, do hay, ground and bale hay, contract work, up we like do that. concrete work. And you name it, we try to do it. That's good. Horse of all trade. Where are you located? We're about, we're kind of in a town called Fotos, Louisiana. We're about 30 miles west of Baton Rouge. Huh? And is that where the show uh, the takes show place also? Port Allen. Port Allen. Irvinville. Irvinville, Port Allen. It's called, it, it's in Irvinville, but it's called Port Allen Raceway. Okay. It's State Capital Raceway. Okay, great. Well, guys, it, it's been uh, it's been great talking with you. Will we see you guys in the convoy tonight? Yeah, yeah, we'll be in the convoy tonight. All right, great. All right, guys, again, sir, it's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you. And a pleasure meeting you Thank as you. well. All I'll right. see you soon. Thank you. All right. Thank you. Thank you.